so welcome back to JV Reviews. I have Joey and Tony. Tony, you gotta show your face though. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and we are towing a, what's this? This is a Sandstorm by Fargo? Or Forge River? Forge River. River. Sandstorm by Forge River with my 2023 GMC Sierra 3500. Now, in this video, right now as we speak, I do not have a weight distribution hitch hooked up. There is a 1900 pound razor in the trailer. So we want to see just how squirrely this thing gets on the highway here. So you're going to drive too, actually, on the way back. Okay. And then we're going to hook it up with the weight distribution hitch, and I'll drive that. You'll drive again. Cool? Okay. Let's get into the video. All right, so I'm going 77 miles an hour because I wanted to see. Now, what are you guys' thoughts? Do you, do you feel it? Yeah, it's a little sway to me. A little sway. So 1,900 pounds of weight back there does loosen up the hitch weight a little bit. Well, not loosen, lightens up the hitch weight a little bit. And we can clearly tell. Now, we did get the truck weighed with, with not the Razor. And yeah, I think that having more hitch weight would obviously make this a little bit better because this is a big truck and hitch weight is actually better for the leaf springs to connect the bump stops. But I do definitely feel this thing above 70 miles an hour. So we were just going about 75 miles an hour, 77 in that ballpark. What'd you guys think? Yeah. Did you feel it? Yeah, a little sway in there. A little sway? Yeah, I did too, actually. I'm going about 65, 60 right now, and I'm like, I can't even tell this trail right there now. And you guys mentioned, if you put in the Razor backwards, you guys, find that that's a little bit better like for the yeah, it'll, it'll take uh, a little weight off the tail end of the trailer and put it over the axle of the trailer so. gotcha now that's actually a really good point you have a four seater too don't you yes okay so do you do you back yours into or no okay I'm Can't... able to with this trailer okay so i have all the weight on the back end gotcha yeah when we were using your truck you had the weight distribution on the ram yes and that was phenomenal like i said i couldn't even tell it was back there no that's a really good hitch so true it, it works really well and that's rated for 14k yes yeah how many miles do you think you've towed this trailer so far <laughs> I, I couldn't even begin to guess <laughs> a whole lot we've been to southern california a couple times we've been up in Idaho quite a few times all over utah so it's it's had a lot of miles yeah it's, it's definitely not a hard trailer to tow for sure like I've always wondered like with the toys like putting them in and you know putting them inside the garage and you know taking them out like, it seems like it's it's a task for sure I mean I have a race trailer that I have to put cars in and, and that's it's a task but like once you get set up and once you have it out of the trailer it's just like you know that you have all the fun with it and everything like that yeah sure. so where do you guys go out when you, with your toys I, I, I go all over the state of nice. Moab, Kanab, up in the Hyuenas, the sand dunes Nice. Alright, so I'm gonna hit the brakes here. Let me know if you hear or feel that exhaust brake. Anything happening? Not much. Is that illuminated down there? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely not a ram. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Hey, shots fired guys. <laughs> well no, that is the only thing about this truck that's like really kinda like bothersome like I have it in tow haul mode and because this has a 10 speed like some people say online that having the little gear spread that you have is harder for the downshift now sometimes it does work there have been times where actually hold on let me make sure I clear all this okay good but yeah sometimes if I'm going downhill and cruise control and I have it set at a low speed and it starts to speed up it will actually engage a lot better but for the most part, I do not feel it. All right, we just played musical chairs. <laughs> Joey's gonna be driving now. And we're gonna get his impression on this 2023 GMC. So we still do not have the weight distribution hitch. So when we get back to Maverick, we're gonna install that and then we're gonna see the weight where it goes on the truck and on the trailer. So hopefully, obviously it'll add some weight to the front and maybe to the trailer and take a little bit of weight off the truck. So. That's gonna be a good test for us, but uh, make sure you sit. Is everything strapped down in there? In yep. The trailer? Yep. Should cool. Be good so everything's strapped down, so we should be able to send it. Okay. All right. <laughs> we'll see what this Duramax can actually do. 
So what do you think? Well, it feels really good so far. A lot of power. You gonna trade in that Ram tomorrow? Negative. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I do like my uh, dually. Well, you do have more torque than the truck does because you have the high output from 18. That is 930 torque, 385 horsepower versus 445, 910. Yeah, I have the lower gearing too. You do have the lower gearing. You have the 410, I have a 342 back here. Yeah. I mean, that is good. one good thing about this truck. The RPMs are about 65, 70. Like, that's the sweet spot for fuel economy. Like, if I were disciplined to drive that slow, I could probably get 20 miles a gallon easily. Yeah. Now, one thing I will say, this windshield, and I, I never had this issue with my Ram. Have you ever had a cracked windshield since you've had yours? No, I don't. I dodge. I owned my Ram for four years. I've driven cross country, down south, many of times in the same truck. Never had a cracked windshield. I have that one as you can see I have one down there I have one there and I have one here well, welcome to Utah yeah that's true there's too. rocks all over the roads here that, that might be what it especially is. after winter yeah now a few rocks hit the Rams windshield but it didn't crack it I mean I just yeah. saw like a very small little scuff but this windshield seems to be a little bit thinner somehow because yeah well we'll see when I get the other two trucks when I get those if I have the same problem then maybe it's just a Utah thing so does it have any sensors in it that make it more expensive to replace? Or well, I think because of the heads-up display, you probably would have to get a special windshield for that because it has to have some type of, I don't know how to explain it. There's something yeah. built into this windshield for that. Yeah, I know my Toyota has a, like the front sensor for mm -hmm. the cruise control and stuff is up in there and it's a very expensive windshield to replace. Yeah. How, how, do you, how does the transmission feel? It's good. I really like the 10 speed transmission for sure yeah it's not it's not busy too which is something that i've noticed sometimes the eyes in like if you were like in stop and go it would start to like shift a little bit hard but yeah. once you got up and going again it was smooth again but this one tends to be pretty tamed whether it's stop and go cruising hard acceleration it seems like the torque converter locks up really good yeah it feels really good mm -hmm. yeah when i get my gas trucks you guys want to test those out too i mean who knows since you guys can't delete out here in utah yeah, the, the gas is definitely a lot cheaper to work on mm -hmm. cheaper up front to buy yeah but there's a lot of mountain climbing out here that requires a lot of sure. uh, appeal yeah well i did order my ford with a 430 rear so that that should be helpful with that but we should be back at the uh, gas station here in a second guys and like I said, what we'll do is we'll put the weight distribution hitch on, weigh it, and then we're gonna head on to uh, my place. And then you guys won't see the footage, we're gonna tow with the fifth wheel too, because he hasn't had a chance to tow his tow one with his uh, 2018 Ram 3500. All right, we're gonna see if Joey can feel that uh, exhaust brake. Anything? A little bit. Oh, you do feel okay? Yeah, I, I think I felt it a little bit. <laughs> I think you'd be a nice. <laughs> no, I did. I felt it. Okay. But, so, you know, I was really trying to pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're saying it's about the same as your Ram? No. no. <laughs> if I turn mine off, maybe. <laughs> Man, shots fired today. <laughs> she wins. Yeah, that's the, uh, uh, well, for the 2024, I think it is stronger. So when I get, if I ever get another GM, maybe I'll be able to test it out, but we'll see. But yeah, like, like I said, guys, we're gonna be back at Maverick. We're gonna pull right in on the scale and we're going to get this bad boy weighed with the weight distribution hitch installed. And I'll show you guys the numbers. So Joey's gonna show us how to do the weight distribution. So what he has to do is lift the truck all the way up. You can kind of see right there. Look how high it is. So this way. You just hook it right into there. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. That's really easy. Yeah, with the weight off of this. <laughs> if you don't take the weight off, you can't get that bar up. Oh, there. really? Okay. Yeah, look how much the truck is jacked up. Alright, so run through the cable like this. And likewise. And like that. And 
it goes like this. The, the hook goes in the square hole there on the top. Right. Here, you do that. Right. Yeah, just like that. This one's going to be tighter because it's... <laughs> there you go. Golly! So, you can see when there's pressure on it, it's hard to get over. Wow. The other way. The other way? The hook goes over the, the bar. The hook? Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There it is, guys. Yep, just like that. Okay, there you go. This up. We just got weighed, and we have the weight distribution hitch on right now. And to nobody's surprise, I mean, seriously, this is too easy. Yeah, that hitch, that hitch is really good hitch. I mean, it's still, it's swaying a little bit, but again, it's windy today. Yeah, it's very windy, windy actually. And it's cold. We're going downhill right now, which is nice. So let me put it in cruise control. And I'm gonna, let's see if it'll initiate. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not being fair. It wasn't on. All right, so I'm, I had the cruise control at 65. We're going 70 miles an hour. You mean, you're being nice. No, no, I can't. Can you hear that? Yeah. I, I don't hear it. Okay, I'm gonna I put mean, it down to 60. It's not loud, but. So here, here, here's what it should sound like. Yeah. That's that's the exhaust rig right there. Yeah. So now I'm at wide open throttle. We're going up a little bit of an incline. 70, 73, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. This is where the Duramax shines. Like it accelerates hard. Yeah. It does have good accelerations. Yeah, but you, you can feel it a little bit, can't you? Yeah. That's because we're going too fast. So like I said, I'm gonna drop down to about 72. With it being a windy day with the weight distribution hitch, you almost can't tell that the trailer's moving. Yeah. Big difference, right? Big difference. Yeah, I would definitely recommend this, obviously. I mean, I do see a lot of guys who have HDs, they do not use weight distribution hitches when they have travel trailers. They just don't do it. Well, this and this is a big long trailer, so. Yeah, it, with what you're doing, like with that big old toy back there, you almost kind of have to. Like, I, I can feel that trailer swaying, even at 72 a little bit. Like, I can see it a little bit. It's kind of going back and forth. It's not bad, but it's windy today, too. But yeah, it makes a huge difference. Like, it's a totally different truck. Yeah. So here's what I came up with. Let me go through this, and I'll explain the numbers. I have the truck truck plus trailer without weight distribution hitch and then with I have the steer axle for the truck and drive axle and then I just added the two axles here up on this row okay and then I have the trailer axles and of course down below gross combined vehicle weight just in case you guys want to see what it is with that being said check this out I got the Sierra Wade with Joey Tony and myself and I had a generator and a fridge in the bed. So that's the total weight there. Notice how much weight got shifted from the steer axle. That's a pretty big number there. And of course, most of that weight went back here. So all in, the total axle is 10,540 compared to 9,380. But look what happens when you add the weight distribution hitch. It basically adds 360 pounds back to the front axle, which is what you want. The reason why that's important is because you need that weight for the steer axle because it gives you better control. I thought that was really cool that 360 pounds got added back to that axle. Now notice here, this is really cool too because I've always wondered, does some of the weight go back on the trailer? And yes, it does. Now it's not a lot of weight, but 140 pounds gets taken off of the truck and put back on the trailer's axles. So remember, if you haven't watched the last video, Joey's Polaris was about 1,900 pounds. So when you think about how much weight gets taken off of this front axle, that's with the Polaris in the garage. Now keep in mind, 
if that Polaris was not in the garage, this number would actually decrease more. And this is an HD truck. That's why I don't recommend these type of RVs for half tons. They're just way too heavy. Even if you get one that's probably 26 foot, maybe 25 foot, you're gonna have a hard time with the weight of these trailers. And even if you use a weight distribution hitch, I still think they're just too big of a trailer. So if I ever buy a toy hauler like this, even for an HD, I would 100% use the weight distribution hitch. I do see a lot of guys going down the road without them, but I honestly think it's a good idea because so much weight gets shifted when you don't have a toy in the back. Now I will admit, I have no idea what happened to 80 pounds, but maybe some of the diesel got burnt out from that short drive, I don't know. But nevertheless, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope it was helpful. Be sure to share it if you know anyone that's looking for a toy hauler. And I will see you guys in the next video.